Guys, I had a nightmare yesterday. Um, so I did say I was going to upload it yesterday, but uh, I finished the whole project almost and then, um, yeah, realized that I hadn't been recording. But now I'm fully charged, so let's get on with it. And basically, I'm going to show you guys how to make the cake topper that I uh, posted last week. Um, I don't want this video to be too long. My voice can be boring, so I'll try and keep it as short as possible. But at the same time, I want you guys to be able to follow along. So, yeah, let's get on. Okay, so I'm using Adobe Illustrator here. I'm going to move fast, so keep up. Um, using your ellipse tool, create a circle, outer circle. Copy and paste this and just decrease the size and place it inside the outer circle. Then you need to make the stem by using the rectangle tool. Um, once you've done this, I would suggest uniting it with the circle using this tool, um, this button over here. And then you can move on to the point at the bottom for it to actually get um, poke into the cake. Okay, so to unite the point at the bottom, I'm using this shape builder tool and all you have to do is drag over the um, stem and the point. So moving on to my text, I'm just going to use Malor Designs, um, two separate parts. Um, I'm going to select my font, preferably something italic or handwritten scribe and I'm just going to resize this now to the size that I want it to be. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is right click and create outlines. Once I've done that, then I can use the unite tool to unite all of the text. That way I don't have all of the overlapping letters within the actual text because the software sees that as a cut line. Once I've um, united that then, I'm going to place both text pieces together. Once it's united, then I can place it within the um, inner ring of my cake topper. And then I need to, um, I want to extend this S over so that I have at least four points of contact within the uh, ring itself, just to make it a little bit more stronger. So using the tool up here, the pen tool, I am just going to drag over these points so that it overlaps the inner ring. So once I've done that, I can select the text and the outer ring and then unite it together so that it becomes one piece. And that is it. So if you want to, you can um, delete the fill and just create a stroke. That way it makes it a little bit more clearer to see if there are any overlapping letters. Um, once you've done that, then go ahead and save the file. Okay, so it's exported. Now I need to go turn my machine on. I've got some beautiful views on my machine here. <clears throat> okay, so the wood is placed inside my laser. The wood is actually four millimeters thick, but the auto measure is showing five point something. Um, I'm going to import my file that I just made, resize it. Once I've selected what I need to do for this example cut, then I can go ahead and start. It worked. Yeah, not too bad. It's a little bit burnt, but hey. Um, so that is the full design um, exported and cut all within around 20 minutes. That's not too bad. So I hope this helped you guys and you can do it yourself. If anybody has any better ways of doing this, then I'm also all ears. I'd love to know a nicer way or a more intuitive way. 
because yeah, Adobe Illustrator is not the easiest tool to use. I have some ideas for some other designs. If um, this video is okay, like you're not too bored of my voice, then yeah, I'll uh, make some more videos. Bye-bye.